Back at Pauley Pavilion in Westwood, California, our coverage of Pac-10 women's gymnastics continuing the UCLA Bruins and the Stanford Cardinal, our State Farm pride of the pack is UCLA athlete Holly Murdoch, a 3.83 grade point average, an undeclared major. Our congratulations to her. Meanwhile, in our first rotation, UCLA getting off to an outstanding start. UCLA vault score, the second highest in UCLA team history at 49.675. Stanford with a 49.225, a little below their season high. And of course, the highlights, Peck at a 9.925, which is a career high. Maloney, a 9.95, also a career high. Kristen Smith. A very, very proud coach here. She is so proud of this team and the way they work so hard in the gym, the way they support each other, care about each other, love gymnastics. And Valerie Condos Field, her record speaks for itself. But if you walk into her gym, she just does such a nice job helping these athletes, especially the elite athletes, the ones coming off Olympic teams and world championship teams, make that transition into collegiate gymnastics and have success as a collegian. Yeah, her overall goal is to help young people learn life through gymnastics. She's a no-nonsense coach, doesn't put up with partying or drinking and those kinds of things. She wants you to study hard, work hard, perform, and be part of that team. Commitment, that's yep. what she requires, a commitment from her athletes to certain things, and they all make that commitment. So UCLA now is going to go over to the bars where they're the fifth-ranked team in America, where the Bruins very, very strong. Jeanette Antelon is ranked second on this event, and Kate Richardson is tied for fourth in the ranking. Kristen Smith, uh, we mentioned she's in her third year. She's got a bunch of seniors, and she is high on her senior leadership. This is a special year because we are led by five outstanding seniors. They're hungry. They're totally committed to making this their best season yet, and the rest of the team is just following their lead. It is... Um, an unbelievable group of young women. Uh, those five seniors have really put Stanford on the map as far as the top program in the country throughout their four years. So it's a special year. They're a fun group. Um, I hope this is their best year. Yet. And this is Shelly Goldberg, one of their seniors, starting them off really, really nicely. Boy, it's great when you can start off with a stuck ball. It just raises the level. A senior from Wisconsin. Handspring, front pike, half twist, very nicely done. Great landing. Execution has been outstanding so far. Okay, we're set for Amy Walker, a freshman from Valley Village, California. One of the great stories in collegiate gymnastics, Kathy. Amazingly, completely deaf and uh, has no vision in the right eye at all. So you tell me how she does this. It's amazing. She's, oh. oh. Even just something like that, I don't think people realize how much you use your hearing, even on an event like the Uneven Bars. I think that I, I hear myself grasp the bar. You hear the timing of the bars, even just the squeak, and that's something that she has never had. Valerie Condos Field has learned to sign. The entire team has learned to sign language. Unfortunately, right, oh, she was right there. It looked like she was too close to the end of her grips instead of really getting at the base of the grip. She'll, she'll restart. Shelly Goldberg, the leadoff athlete for Stanford, got a 9.875, so good start for the Stanford Cardinal on vault. Once again, this is Amy Walker, the freshman from Valley Village, California. Obviously, the big deduction is the fall, five tenths of a point. We'll get credit for that skill. Let's transition down to the low bar. Your teammates encouraging her from the background. Very good transitions in this routine. Better than many we've seen. Nice double twist dismount. Boy, what a shame she missed the release move. Once again, they count five of the six scores, so they'd like to throw out Amy Walker's score there if she can, getting a little consolation from her coach. Caroline McClure set for her vault. 
This is the first time Stanford is competing all six vaults, all six 10-0 vaults. 9975, she has the second highest vault in school history. Whoa, off to the side. That's why she had to step off the mat. I think she's happy she made the vault, but it definitely went crooked. And that's a deduction. This is a Yurchenko vault. And when she blocks off of the horse, she'll perform a half twist and then a front layout. And see how she's completely off her direction. A little bit low. The her head was just at the level of the horse. I'd like to see it up above that. But it looks like she's happy to make the vault. And now we're set for Lori Wynn. Her bars routine, freshman from Oklahoma City. Been very, very consistent and all around her for UCLA. Let's a look at Chris Waller. Right behind her is uh, the assistant coach at UCLA along with Milo Johnson. You know, Wynn's kind of an interesting story. She came to UCLA, and her high school coach, uh, her club coach, had called the Valerie Condos field and said, look, I've got a gymnast that needs some tough love, uh, a, a, a girl that needs a little, uh, uh, needs some guidance from a, from a strong coach like you. Do you think you're ready to take her on? And Valerie Condos field telling me this week that uh, Wynn has really blossomed, and she's had a lot of talks with her, and she's the kind of girl that asks why all the time, uh, but uh, she's an athlete, and she's really turned her life around. This is the kind of thing um, Val likes to take on. Yeah, Coach Paul Zurt uh, made the call to Coach Val. And the rest is history. So here comes, yeah, Lori Wynn. Remember, UCLA has already got a low score here. So Wynn needs to hit. This is when it's all about teams. Step up, pick up the slack. Amy Walker got a 9.15, 9.15, so they want to throw that out. Nice double layout dismount. Definitely the highlight of the routine was the dismount very straight in that laid out position. You'll see a lot of different techniques used on that dismount. Almost like fingerprints. No two are alike. She lifts it up, and she does more of a completely straight body. Any kind of slightly arched, very straight. Pikes down a little tiny bit at the end. Meanwhile, back to the vault. Luchenko laid out with a full twist. Jessica Louie. It's been a very, very good addition to this Stanford team. Just coming off a little bit of an injury, had to take some downtime. Goldberg got a 9.875. Fleur got a 9.725. And when we come back, we'll give you the score of Jessica Louie. Stanford off to a great start on vault. More coming up. Kristen Maloney set for her bars routine. Kristen scored a career high last meet, 9.95. Very good transition. That's what's supposed to be done right to the handstand. Very strong handstand positions in this routine. A lot of swing. Full twist and double back. More difficulty. Very, very strong routine for UCLA. Maloney, the 2000 USA Olympian. Boy, they are happy to have her back in the lineup. Red shirted in 2002 because of that leg injury that Kathy told you about. Set out all last year as well. It's been a long time. Yeah, long road back for her. Glenn Sweets on ball. Wow, now that's a beauty. Louie right before got a 9.825. I would have liked this one might be better. In a judge's lap right then to really see if she was stretched out in that laid out position. Seeing it from the side, which is where the judges sit. Looks like it. Oh, boy, she pulled out that landing. It was actually going to be a pretty low landing. She had to kind of bend her knees a little sooner, but boy, did she handle that beautifully. Louie Louie scoring for Stanford. So back to the bars, the senior from Ontario, Canada, coming up, Yvonne Tusek. What a lovely gymnast she is. She is just unique in every way. 
choreography on beam and floor is always something to look forward to. Barsh has a nice, long swing. She was the Barsh champion in NCAA a couple of years ago, 2001. Flexed a foot there on that one. Transition move down. Here comes the dismount. Double layout. See a little technique difference on that dismount. She's going an arched, tight arch position. Drew out. Boy, they're going strong here. 9.925. So UCLA starting to crank it up a bit. Maloney got a 9-9-2-5. So that's uh, three good performances in a row. Now watch how she performs this dismount. It's a little bit more layout arch, how she looks back, head goes back a little bit. It's almost like her body follows her head. Lise LaVey. Yuchenko laid out with a full twist. You see that vault so often now in collegiate gymnastics. They upgraded the value a year or two ago. They raised the level back up to a 10.0, so it's become a very, very popular vault. She's pretty low on this. Her head is down below the level of the horse when she finishes it. That's why she had to step forward, hop forward. Couldn't quite get the rotation all the way around. Len Sweet's got a 9-9-2-5 for her performance, the second best career score on ball. Kate Richardson. She is a past and future Olympian. We asked her how she balances those two. Here she goes. Pirouette into the release move. Nice handstand down to the low bar. Kusek got a 9-9-2-5. Double layout dismount, a little hop forward. She's actually performing very well. She has a sinus infection, was not feeling well in the warm-ups at all. Actually felt a little dizzy. It's not quite herself. So the final performer for Stanford on ball, Natalie Foley, her father, Steve, a longtime Denver Bronco, if you're a football uh, fan, played 12 years with the, with the Broncos. And she's from an athletic background. Her dad's tougher than your dad. Look at that. Very nice layout. Your chink over, full twist, little step back. That's the kind of landing that I, I think, as the season progresses, where you would, you would tell them, fight for that landing. There you fight go. Fight for that landing. Get the arms up. Try and go for a Arms up, arms up. Get them up, which you he get does. Get them up quickly. But don't move that foot. That's the, that's the hard thing to do. Boom. She just pulled her feet down a little bit too soon. It over-rotated it slightly. Now, we're talking for perfection here. LaVey got a 9-7-7-5 for Stanford. We wait for the score for Natalie Foley. And that brings us to Jeanette Antolin, the senior from Huntington Beach. Alice Antolin on bars, solid. Sixth in the nation. The strap on your seatbelts. Go for a ride with this routine. It is really packed. She's very aggressive on this event. Swings really aggressively. Watch this. Nice inverted giants into a high release move. A pipe. Those are called Jaegers. And she really cranks right here. Double way up dismount. Oh, oh. Nice. Ah. She was trying. She was trying. I wanted to stick that. The great Jeanette Antolin, the anchor for UCLA. At the end of the first rotation, it was UCLA. How about at the end of two rotations? Stanford made a move. Will it be enough?